Welcome, and let's First Talk Compliance. I'm Catherine Short, Partnership Marketing Manager at First Healthcare Compliance. Thanks for tuning in. You can follow First Healthcare Compliance on Twitter at FirstHCC or on Facebook and Instagram at First Healthcare Compliance or hashtag First Talk Compliance. On today's episode, I'm talking to Eileen Grenna, Assistant Dean and Executive Director of the office known as Gickles at Widener University Delaware Law School, and Pam Beach, Director, Graduate and Compliance Programs at Delaware Law School. Gickles stands for Graduate, International, Compliance, and Legal Studies. Dean Grenna graduated from American University with a BS in Political Science and a minor in Biology. She graduated from Widener University School of Law with a JD and continued her academic career by obtaining a Bachelor of Science in Nursing from the University of Delaware. Dean Grenna previously was Assistant Counsel for Jeans Hospital in Philadelphia, the Mental Health Mental Retardation County Solicitor at the Chester County Mental Health Court, and an Arbitration Judge for Chester County. She lectures in the area of healthcare compliance and currently sits on the Board of Advisors for Christiana Hospital's Compliance and Ethics Board. Pamela Beach, Esquire, is the Director of Graduate Programs in the Graduate International Compliance and Legal Studies Department of Widener University Delaware Law School. She graduated summa cum laude from the Widener University Delaware Law School's Legal Education Institute, where she earned a bachelor's degree in paralegal studies. She received her JD from Widener University Delaware Law School and is licensed to practice law in Pennsylvania. Mrs. Beach spent 20 years in civil litigation with her combined paralegal and associate roles. Following her legal career, she has taught on campus and online in paralegal and legal master's degree programs. She currently administers the award-winning Master of Jurisprudence. Master of Laws and Summer Law Programs at Delaware Law School. Delaware Law offers legal education for compliance professionals with award-winning graduate level compliance degrees. Studies are completed entirely online with no residency requirement. For most programs, students can choose from two-year Master of Jurisprudence degree or one-year certificate and specifically for attorneys, they offer an LLM. The Compliance Certification Board Accredited Graduate Program in Healthcare Compliance does not require an entrance exam or an on-campus immersion and completion of the program provides eligibility to sit for an exam to become a certified compliance professional. So Eileen and Pam, welcome to First Talk Compliance. Thank you so much for being here. I find it interesting and timely to learn that Delaware Law School offers graduate level study in the field of compliance. Obviously, you've determined there's a need for this specialized field of study. Can you tell me more about the career opportunities this program offers? Of course, Catherine. Our master's degrees in compliance offer an alternative for graduate students who may have been considering law school, but have decided against it. Earning a master's degree from a law school can result in a career just as satisfying as that which a law degree can provide and can open up opportunities for positions where the students use the legal knowledge they've gained without having to take a bar exam. While our programs are not a prep course for the certification exams from the uh, Compliance Certification Board, our Masters of Jurisprudence degrees in compliance enable students to receive the eligibility required to sit for a certification. The requirements to sit for the certifications include 1,500 hours of work experience and 20 continuing education units. Many students new to the compliance field do not have 1,500 hours of work experience yet. Therefore, these requirements are waived for our students to successfully complete our compliance degrees. This waiver was accomplished through our accreditation by the Compliance Certification Board. Certifications are available in healthcare compliance and corporate compliance. And these certifications are now leading the way as an industry standard for compliance professionals. Successful graduates can look forward to careers as chief compliance officers, compliance training managers, directors of compliance, a compliance specialist, and much more in healthcare organizations, corporations, international companies, government agencies, small businesses, and more. So is it your view that board certification is required for individuals working in a compliance role? No, it's not a requirement, but it is quickly becoming an industry standard for success and advancement within the field. 
So are you targeting students who are already working in the compliance area, or are you seeking out those who wish to enter the compliance field for the first time? We would like to educate both students new to the compliance field and students who currently work in the compliance field about our offerings. By offering both a full year um, a full two-year master's degree and a one-year shorter graduate level certificate, we can accommodate those with less experience seeking the initial knowledge of compliance or those with more experience seeking to enhance their credentials. Further, we offer more than 25 compliance courses to choose from for students who are simply seeking to enrich themselves by taking one or two and up to three classes without fully matriculating. These enrichment courses for students who do not wish to matriculate can still help those students gain knowledge that can contribute to their preparation for taking a CCB exam. Gosh, okay, that sounds like a lot. So that really appeals to a broad spectrum of students. Yes, that's exactly right. Not every student comes from the same background or has the same goals. So we offer a variety of options to enter into the program that they are looking forward to so they can personalize their experience. So do you believe that a study program in compliance is more compatible in a law school environment than, say, a medical or business school environment? And can you explain why? Sure. Education and compliance works well in a law school framework because compliance programs are a result of many laws and regulations that govern business and healthcare organizations. So in addition to teaching our students the elements of a compliance program and how to build that program, we provide our students with knowledge of the U.S. court systems, where a law comes from, how to find the law, and how to read, interpret, and analyze the law so they can apply that legal knowledge and specific laws impacting their industry to their own organizations. Delaware Law in particular has an established, nationally recognized reputation in both corporate and health law education, and with faculty who are both attorneys and certified in compliance, students gain practical skills and legal experience. If you're just tuning in, you're listening to First Talk Compliance, and my guests today are Eileen Grenna and Pam Beach of Widener University Delaware Law School. So continuing on, let's discuss compliance in the healthcare area for a moment. Can you share some examples of those who work in healthcare who would benefit from a compliance education? Of course. There are many different positions in healthcare that would benefit from a compliance education. Some healthcare employees may want to use the education to transition from practicing clinical health care to administrative role, while others may already work in the administrative role. And because there are so few higher education programs that teach compliance, well, they may want to use their knowledge to expand their current role. Let's see, for example, nurses may want to move away from patient care to a compliance role or to another role such as nursing home administrator, may want to enhance his or her current knowledge, Healthcare professionals working in a hospital compliance, privacy, nursing homes, regulatory affairs, pharmaceutical, information management, records management, risk management, quality assurance, health insurance, medical device manufacturers, and more can benefit from compliance education to stay abreast of the fast changing regulations that impact daily healthcare practice. So clearly, healthcare is constantly evolving. So have you found that certain subsets of healthcare exhibit a greater demand for compliance training and expertise? Did the Affordable Care Act have a measurable impact on the need for compliance experts? Absolutely. The Affordable Care Act, or as we know it as the ACA, has had a huge impact on this need. As healthcare organizations struggle to interpret and enforce the ACA, and other regulations like the Sunshine Act and ICD-10, a student with a degree in compliance from Delaware Law will have spent a considerable amount of time analyzing these regulations in an effort to prepare to assist the organizations with understanding and implementing these regulations. The healthcare industry has become perhaps the most regulated in the United States. So the health law field has become a dynamic and complex area of law. Having attorneys teaching our students about these laws is an enormous benefit. They learn from their experience and from the knowledge of their faculty. On a different note, you also offer a program focused on corporate regulations, which also includes nonprofit, NGOs, uh, and government areas as well. Between these and healthcare, what is a, a comparative demand and interest for workers educated in these regulated areas? 
Well, our student population has been consistently equally mixed with both healthcare majors and corporate majors. While the healthcare industry is extremely large, the need for corporate education is just as important due to, especially due to the increased financial and business laws that have come along uh, in recent years and as a result of large scandals like Enron and WorldCom. Correct. In addition, Corporate education can be helpful to those working in a variety of settings that vary from large chain stores to global com companies and even small businesses. I think regardless of the size, industry, or location in the world, companies should be cognizant of risk management, corporate fraud, and regulations that guide companies and how to create a culture of compliance and ethics within their organization. Delaware Law is a, located in the unofficial corporate capital of the United States. And with more than 50% of pub publicly traded companies in the United States, and more than 60% of Fortune 500 companies incorporate in Delaware, and Delaware's preeminence in corporate law, there's no better place to study law than relate, relating to corporations than, I guess, Delaware Law School. The increasing complexity of national and international business is really driving a growing demand for professionals in and advancing their legal expertise. So I'd like to take that last line and circle back to one of your first comments about students choosing programs like yours rather than pursuing a traditional law school path and obtaining a JD. Is this the new normal in the field of compliance? The, the need for legal expertise didn't disappear merely because the demand for a three-year law degree fell after the 08-09 recession. Do you believe the MJ degrees and certificates are the wave of the future? Well, we believe compliance is the new normal, right? And professionals are needed at every level from master's to JD. It's based on each organization's need as to whether they require a licensed attorney or a compliance professional with a master's degree. The compliance field is growing so rapidly that there are many positions available to provide individuals with these varying degrees the opportunity to find a role that, that suits them best. Delaware Law offers specialized knowledge and a curriculum in compliance that provides options for both those who seek and or have a law degree and those who do not wish to pursue a JD. I have a question about the curriculum. Could you tell me a little bit more about the curriculum? Absolutely. With the Masters of Jurisprudence program, uh, that is a program designed for uh, people who are not attorneys or not um, planning on go to law, going to law school. Of course, they certainly can after the, the Masters of Jurisprudence degree. But because it's designed for someone without legal experience, we start out with an introduction to the U.S. legal system. We go through where the law comes from. We do a, a little review of our uh, branches of government and how to find the law, how to do some legal research. Let me see how I can find some of those regulations that just came out. How do I read them? How do I keep track of this case law that's coming down in the healthcare industry? Um, and then we zone in and focus on the regulations that impact the healthcare industry. So Caremark and uh, HIPAA and high tech and uh we look at false claims, the False Claims Act, and many, many more uh, other regulations that go into doing business in the healthcare industry. And so what we want students to do uh, is dive into those regulations, understand them, and then work through the seven elements of a compliance program, taking those regulations and saying, okay, what do I need to do to build this compliance program in this hospital or physician's office or pharmaceutical uh, outlet? And how do I approach the board? How do I convince them that maybe the compliance program we have is not adequate or maybe we don't have one and here's why we need one? And then going through all the elements of a compliance program, how to develop it and implement it and monitor on it and discipline um, and everything that's required to, to keep that compliance program afloat and to promote that ethical culture within an organization and try to avoid any instances of uh, non-compliance and 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 fraud. Wonderful, wonderful. Your compliance programs are online. How integrated into Widener University Delaware Law School community do your students feel? 
While our programs provide online learning, it is not by any means independent learning. Our students communicate electronically with their classmates every week within their courses through discussion threads, which offer timely topics for the students to share their opinions and views on throughout the week. Additionally, our faculty members hold regularly scheduled video web conferences where students interact live with their instructors and classmates. Our faculty members are dedicated to the success of their students and often stay in touch with their students long after the student has completed their course. Students are welcome and encouraged to remain in touch with their faculty who are happy to provide mentorship and advice into the future. I agree, and we also remain in close contact with our online students on a regular basis. I think both of us, along with faculty members and students, attend several of the same national compliance conference, and we see them every year. And this provides an additional opportunity to interact and network with our students long after they've graduated, and also gives them an opportunity to meet each of us in person. Each year, many of our students online attend our graduation ceremony as well on campus in Wilmington, Delaware. While this is not a bricks and mortar program, our students are a part of our academic community. And our strong alumni play an important role as well in communicating with both potential and current students to provide mentoring and personal careers and experiences. So I'm curious, is the program really entirely online or are students required to come to campus at all? They are entirely online. Students do not need to come to campus at all, but we'd love to see them at graduation. In fact, students can apply online to the programs via the website, which is DelawareLaw.Widener dot edu backslash compliance. Right. I think that's one of the most amazing things about this program is that you can enroll entirely online and that you can be someplace such as Utah, for example, and that you can you don't have to come to Delaware and that you can just be enrolled entirely online. And I think that's just absolutely amazing. Or you can be in Texas, Hawaii, wherever you want to be, and that you can just take this entire program. I just think that's just astounding. I think that's amazing. It is. And so. it's very convenient for, you know, obviously for people who are working professionals because you work all day and you were, you know, we have nurses in the program who work different shift hours. And it's nice to be able to log into that class anytime that's convenient for you right. and and complete your work on your own schedule. Yes. Yeah. And then sometimes people with, you know, parents, it, people mm -hmm. with families and or with other lives. And it's just, it's amazing. So, yeah. so kudos to your program. It's Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Um, Kevin, I just wanted to add that it's also increases the professional exposure of everyone as well. So when you have professionals working from Utah, Hawaii, Texas, New York, all in a classroom, even though they're all around the world, that's a great way to network. And so you're networking in a classroom as well as learning you know, from others all around the world. So I think that's that's a unique aspect of our program as well. Absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, One that's other wonderful. point to mention with respect to that is that the compliance conferences that are available throughout every year all over the country, um, they can be a little daunting for someone new to the profession because um, some of them are very large and uh, walking in there and maybe not knowing anyone, it's nice to check with the other students in the program. And we try to coordinate this when we can and say, who's going to the conference? We're going to be there. Let's all get together. This, the students can meet their classmates and then they're not alone anymore at these, these conferences. And it's nice to have them meet in person. And then they have this colleague that they can then, you know, share advice and best practices with when they go home, when they go back to their to work. I agree. Absolutely. How does Delaware law compare in relation to other institutions where one might go for compliance specialization? We are unique in that we offer an entirely online CCB accredited program with the many options varying from the master's degree to graduate level certificate to uh, the LLM for lawyers to enrichment courses. In addition to the variety of degree levels from which a student may choose, we are further unique in that we offer several concentrations, which include healthcare and corporate compliance. And we continue leading the way in compliance education by seeking to offer additional programs related to compliance, such as anti-money laundering and financial fraud. The variety of options allows students to tailor their educational experience to fit specific needs and goals. Delaware Law School is also the proud recipient of an award for excellence in creating compliance education. And Delaware Law School stands out amongst others as an American Bar Association approved law school. 
We talked a bit about the CCB, which is the Compliance Certification Board. Can you go into a little bit more detail about the CCB and what is your affiliation with them? Certainly. So almost 10 years ago, the Compliance Certification Board began accrediting universities that were offering educational programs for the compliance profession. We were one of the original two universities and the only law school at the time to receive accreditation from the CCB, Compliance Certification Board. So what does being accredited by the CCB mean? It essentially provides legitimacy to our compliance degree programs in the sense that the CCB representatives performed a site visit at Delaware Law School to meet with us and review our curriculum in detail. So they looked at the experience of each of our faculty members uh, with respect to their compliance knowledge. Um, for those who were teaching in the compliance courses, they examined the practical skills assignments that we require within the courses, as well as how we deliver the material to students, which, uh, as we mentioned, is through recorded lectures and weekly discussions with classmates. And so the CCB's goal was to determine whether the studies we were offering in our courses were substantially covering the material and topics set out by the CCB as integral to uh, becoming a knowledgeable compliance professional to the extent that our programs would assist students with having the requisite skills to sit for a CCB exam. Great. So needless to say, Delaware Law School passed the examination by CCB, correct? And please go on uh, with what that means. Of course, yes. Indeed, Delaware Law School received the accreditation after the site visit and continues to hold that accreditation today. So to continue answering the question about what accreditation means, basically the CCB offers a variety of exams, including the CHC exam, which upon successful completion enables the applicant to use the CHC designation after their name to show that they're certified in healthcare compliance, CHC. The CCB also offers the CCEP exam, which like the CHC allows a special designation, this one being a certified compliance and ethics professional. There's a few other exams that are offered as well, including a healthcare privacy exam, and an international compliance and ethics exam for those global compliance professionals who work at organizations that uh, have offices in, in other countries. So our accreditation by the CCB means that our curriculum and our teaching methods have met their requirements for what is needed to sit for one of the exams. As mentioned before, this accreditation also waives the typically required 1,500 hours of work experience. So this is a perfect opportunity for someone new to the industry to earn a master's degree or certificate in compliance from Delaware Law School and then take the exam and enter the workforce with a certification designation without ever having the 1,500 hours of work experience that's typically needed. This can put them at an advantage in the employment market. And um, additionally, if the exam is taken within the first year of graduating from our programs, our accreditation provides 20 continuing education units, um, which is also required to apply for the exam. Great. So I'm wondering, how long have you had this program? So how long has the program been in existence in healthcare and in compliance? Sure. We actually are one of the oldest and long ranging um, Masters of Jurisprudence com and Compliance programs in the field. We've had a Masters of Jurisprudence in Health Law for over 20 years and our Masters of Jurisprudence and Compliance for over 10 years. In fact, in 2011, our programs won the Society of Corporate Compliance Award for Excellence in Developing Education that furthers the compliance profession. Wonderful. And so, Pam, I know that you mentioned that Delaware Law School is the proud recipient of an award for excellence in creating compliance education. Can you tell me more about that award and any other awards that you and recognitions that you all have received? Sure. So that uh, award is actually what Dean Grennan just mentioned with respect to the uh, SCCE Award for Excellence in Developing Education that furthers the compliance profession. Um, but we have received some other recognitions, for example, the 
uh, Masters of Jurisprudence in Health Law has been ranked fourth on the national list of top 20 online health policy master's degree programs for 2017 and 18, uh, as published by topmastersinhealthcare.com. And those, um, the programs were ranked based on application of knowledge, focus on law and policy, and program flexibility. The publication said Widener's programs stood apart from others because of its unique concentrations in regulatory analysis and compliance. Uh, we also have been named to the top online law schools and programs for 2017. That was published by accreditedschoolsonline.org. And the outlet ranks the school 13 on a list of 14 schools in the country recognized for having programs that allow students to pursue legal studies through coursework available online. Uh, and Delaware Law School provides a number of online legal graduate degrees. Uh, outside of the JD, it's the Masters of Jurisprudence and LLM degrees, as well as the graduate certificates, all in either health law or corporate law compliance. And finally, Delaware Law School was ranked 21st in the country on the list of 50 best online Masters of Laws degrees and Master of Legal Studies degrees, which includes the Masters of Jurisprudence, uh, by mastersprogramguide.com. The um, outlet placed the law school in very distinguished company after it examined degree customization opportunities, program flexibility, and school reputation in uh, determining the rankings. So we're very proud to have received all of these recognitions for our programs. This certainly has been a very interesting discussion. One of the goals of our show, First Talk Compliance, is to introduce our audience to the different pathways to the compliance field, and we thank you for guiding us on this journey. So I've learned that folks considering graduate degrees don't always know what's available to them, and today's talk will introduce people to educational opportunities that they may have not considered previously. Catherine, thank you so much for taking the time to highlight our programs. You really had some excellent questions that allowed us to truly explain our unique programs, and we really appreciate all your support and excitement about educating graduate students about us. Thank you again, and have a wonderful week. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you. Thanks, you too. And thanks to our audience for tuning in to First Talk Compliance. You can learn more about the show on our programs page on healthcarenowradio.com. And lend your voice to the conversation on Twitter at FirstHCC or hashtag FirstTalkCompliance. You can also email me at Catherine Short at FirstHCC.com. I'm Catherine Short of First Healthcare Compliance. And remember, compliance is the key to achieving peace of mind.